can you can you please turn on your cameras so I can see you? That's great. Okay, so hello, Wanyan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. And what have you been doing since the last class? Just doing some revision and attending tuitions and also Google Meet. Um, so what was the last thing you did, Wan Yan? Attending classes. Okay. Online. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, hello, La Ji Chi. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. And what have you been doing since the last class? I'm just having tuition classes. Okay, can you turn up your volume, please, La Chi? -Chi? I can't hear you very well. You're very faint. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hello, Mittal. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Are you okay? Okay. And what have you been doing since the last class? I'm preparing for Deepavali tomorrow. Okay, very good. Um, and what have you been doing in preparation? How uh, have you been preparing? Putting decorations and cooking food or something like that. Okay, very nice. Excellent. All right. Okay, so uh, do we have anyone else here today? No, I think that's all. Okay, very small class. All right, so let's get started with today today's class. Just give me two seconds. Let me share my screen with you. So I'm just going to get my things ready. Just give me two seconds. Here we are. Let me share this with you. Okay, so um, on the screen now, Hopefully, let me just try and make it a little bit bigger. There we are. On the screen now, you can see two photographs. Yes, can you see these photographs, everyone? Yes. Yeah, all right, fantastic. Okay, so um, Laji Chi, what can you see in this photograph here? Mm, the first photographs have many buildings. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's like a city. It's a city. Very good. And Wan Yan, what can you see in this photograph here? I saw many trees. And I, okay, so I can see a lot of trees. I can see a lot of trees and fields. Also, there mm -hmm. are less houses. Lots of houses. Okay. And less, I think. Oh, less okay, than so the first photograph. Okay, so there are there are More fewer. countryside. Yeah, so this is the countryside. There are fewer houses. Okay, not less houses, fewer houses. All right, very good. So this is a picture of the city, and this is a picture of the countryside. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to look at this question here. Just question number one. Don't worry about question number two. Just want you to look at question number one. And in a moment, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and I'd like you to talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of living in the country and living in a city, okay? So the question is, what are the advantages and the, oops, sorry, let's clear that. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in the country and living in a city? Okay. Does everybody understand the question? Do you understand the question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So can you take a screenshot of this and let me know in the chat box once you've taken the screenshot? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, thank you, Laji Chi. So, Mittal and uh, thank you, Mittal um, and Wan Yan. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms now, and together I'd like you to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of living in the country and living in a city. So you've got to talk about the good things and the bad things of both pictures. Okay, do you understand? Yeah, all right. Okay, so let me put you into rooms now. All right, here we are. Okay, so if you can join the room, I've just sent you a request.
Okay, so um, Mittal, can you turn on your camera? Is that possible? Yeah, it is, but sometimes I just lag a little bit, so I might not be All able right. to answer uh, questions. So. Okay. Okay, hopefully you can. Okay, um, so La Ji Chi, what do you think the advantages are of living in a, a city? Um, I think the advantages is um, they have more job opportunities and have um, many public Okay, so they have a lot of public transportation, not many. Many is used with uh countable nouns and you can't count transportation because it's an uncountable noun okay okay all right and anything else um and i think they can um help many big events mm -hmm. yeah very good excellent Okay, um, and Wen Yan, what do you think the advantages of living in the countryside are? In my opinion, I think the advantages of living in the country is they, the people in there can breathe fresh air and the, the place is more spacious. And maybe... Okay, so you Sorry, Wen Yan, to interrupt you, but you think the advantages of living in the countryside are, not is. Remember, is is used for singular verbs, okay? So start again. So the advantages of living in the countryside are... The advantages of living in the country is... Are... No, very good. Mm -hmm. they, the people in there can breathe fresh air and the place is spacious rather than in city mm -hmm. rather than in a city in a mm -hmm. city yeah moreover the view or scenery in there is more beautiful okay very good thank you and Mittal what do you think the disadvantages of living in a city are Okay, Mittal, can you hear me? Um, the disadvantage is um, it's polluted because of all the transportation. Yeah, but every okay, okay, so the, for me for some reason. Uh, all right, so the, the disadvantages the, are because I think I lag more. Okay, all right, okay, so don't worry, Mittal. Um, if you if you can just listen, okay, so Laji Chi, what do you think the disadvantage? Disadvantages are. I think the advantages are uh, there are higher crime rates. Mm -hmm. Good. And there um there are lack of space mm -hmm. and they uh there are high costs of living in the city. Mm hmm. Okay, very good. Um, Wan Yan, what do you think the disadvantages of living in the countryside are? The, dis the disadvantages of living in the countryside are the network isn't very good as in a city. Mm -hmm, very and good. And the transportation And the education mm -hmm. is maybe poor also. Mm -hmm. And their daily life can be not easy as uneasy as living in a city because they will have to wake up in the morning and work to work, I mean. Mm -hmm. that. Okay, excellent. Okay. Um, all right. Mittal, can you, can you say anything? Yeah, I can, but um, your videos are just laggy for me. And sometimes your voices just go really high pitch. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can is, there, is, there any, is there any chance you can perhaps connect your internet to an Ethernet cable so you can I get stable connection? I think I have that. All right. You don't have an Ethernet cable. Okay. So just to give everyone some advice um, for these classes, sometimes it's better to use an Ethernet cable than using the Wi Fi because Wi-Fi sometimes is unstable. So I always teach these classes using an ethernet cable, which means plugging in a cable to my laptop and then the cable runs to my router and it's in the back of my router. So I always have a stable connection. A Wi-Fi connection sometimes uh, can lag, the connection can drop. Whereas if you have a, um, an ethernet cable, you'll have a, a stable connection throughout. So my advice to you, maybe for the next class, they're very, very cheap. A, a cable, I, I don't know how much they cost in Malaysia, but here in the UK, they're, they're very, very cheap. They're not much money at all. They're only about three pounds. Um, so ethernet cables are really, really useful to have because it guarantees a stable connection. And it means that you can enjoy these classes all right. OK, so let's look at some more activities. Um, OK, so let me just get my page ready for you. Here we are. I'm going to share this with you now. OK, so I'm going to um, share some objectives with you. So let me just make this a little bit smaller. There we are. Okay, so um, let's run down picturesque, shabby, dull, quaint, depressing, prosperous, and bustling. Do you understand what these words mean? What is picturesque? Okay, so picturesque, if something is described as picturesque, Prosperous. Prosperous. Negative. Yeah, it is negative. Very good. Be, I think uh, else is positive. Negative. Very good. And dull. Um, Wanyan. Is it positive or negative? Is it positive or negative, Wanyan? Negative. Very good. And prosperous, is positive. it positive or negative? Uh, Lajichi, very good. And bustling, uh, Wan Yan, is it positive or negative? Positive. Very good, excellent. Okay, so what I'd like you to think about now is which adjectives would you use to describe the area where you live? Okay, so spend a few moments looking at these adjectives and tell me 
which adjectives would you use to describe where you live? Okay. So once you have finished, just write done in the chat box. Okay. Okay, so um, Laji Chi and uh, Wan Yan, have you finished thinking of adjectives to describe where you live? Yeah, okay, very good. Thank yes. you, Wan Yan. Okay, so let me know in the chat box, Laji Chi, by writing done. Okay. All right, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so Laji Chi, what adjectives would you use to describe where you live? I use um, prosperous. Mm -hmm, very good. And bustling. Okay. Why would you and, use? Okay. Mm -hmm. And dull. Okay. It's quite dull. Okay. Anything else? Um, I think no. Okay. So why would you use prosperous to describe where you live? Um, because I think that um, our country is more prosperous and yeah, everything is um, in like good quality. Sorry, what was the last word you used? Everything is? Um, kind of good quality. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and the bustling, I think that the adult is, uh, the adult is bustling in their work and doesn't have any time to um, play with us. Okay, so that that means busy, whereas yeah. bus bustling, if you use the adjective bustling, it means there is a lot of energy, there is a lot of activity. 
Yes. Okay. So why would you describe where you live as bustling? Um, the people or adults is bustling. The people or uh, the adults are yeah, are uh, uh, bustling. Mm -hmm. Um, or they are bustling in their work also, and so that um, they doesn't have. They time. don't have. They don't have. They don't have time to um play with us or something. Okay. All right. And you also use the adjective dull. Why would you yes. use dull? Um, because um, our city doesn't like have many trees or flowers. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's just only have many buildings and pollution. Okay. So it only has buildings and pollution. Okay, very yeah. good. Thank you very much. Okay, Wan Yan, which adjectives would you use to describe where you live? The adjectives that I use to describe my um, town, area. Uh, mm -hmm. my area is same as Lai Jia Qi. Okay, so can you give me the examples? Sure. I think it is prosperous because uh, I live in Penang and Penang had Many Penang has Penang, Penang has, has Penang has many road and there. Okay, so many, it has a, a lot of roads. A lot of roads and shops and business, I think. Businesses. 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 Mm -hmm, very good. And also many buildings. Very good. Excellent. And it is bustling because we had many celebrations such as Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. the Autumn Festival, and also Deepa Valley. Okay, very good. Mm. And, and, yours, like the, and you think dull? Dull, because um, my opinion is the same as like Jati, because there aren't many trees of mm -hmm. flowers, mm -hmm. and maybe sometimes it is very hot. Okay. All right, yeah, thank so. you. Okay, thank you, Wan Yan. Um, Mittal, can you tell me? Okay, mine is lively, quaint, prosperous, and pleasant. Okay, all right, so stop for a second. Everyone today is using um, the verb in the wrong sense, in the wrong tense. So mine are, okay? You use are because you are referring to more than one. You only use is when there is just one word, okay, one noun. Okay, so stop using is when you are talking about more than one noun. You need to say mine are, okay, or the disadvantages are, all right? Okay, so Mittal, can you tell me what are your adjectives please okay mine are lively pleasant mm -hmm. quaint and prosperous okay so why have you used these adjectives um uh, lively is because there are lots of plants over here so... okay so lively means there's a lot of energy there's yeah, yeah i know yeah like a so, lot of people living here and most of them go cycling or something like that so like lots of energy excellent very good and then pleasant is like this like a lot of plants mm -hmm. very good and then the next one is quaint yeah i kind of even quaint me like old-fashioned or something yeah 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 i said this because like three to five percent is like really like are into like old fashioned three to five five percent of my neighborhood like it's quite old fashioned the mm -hmm. houses don't look that good it's like really old and then prosperous is like after like exit my neighborhood there'll be like lots of shops so yeah lots of until 20. okay Okay, so your audio is not very clear, unfortunately, Mittal, but thank you anyway. 
Okay, all right, well done everyone. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to take a look at these sentences, these questions, okay? So um, I'd like you to talk about where you live. Okay, so whereabouts in and the name of your area do you live? How long have you lived there? What are the amenities like? So amenities means shops, shops, sports facilities, cinemas, and libraries? Is everything within easy walking distance? What are the good points about living there? Is there anything you don't like about it? What changes have there been in your local area in recent years? And have there been changes for the better or for the worse? Okay, does everybody understand the questions? Are there any problems with vocabulary? Any words that you don't understand? Do you all understand these words, these questions? Yes. Yeah, okay. So what I'd like you to do is take a screenshot of these questions and let me know in the chat box once you've taken the screenshot, write done in the, in the chat box, please. Thank you, Laji Chi. Thank you, Wanyan. And thank you, Mittal. Okay, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms again. And I'd like you to ask each other these questions. Okay. And Did then, uh, yeah. Can I like do this like solo because I'm like kind of lagging. So it might be just easier for me to do it alone. So, like, um, yeah, but then I you won't. Not possible. But then you won't hear, um, if I put you in a room on uh, your own, you won't hear what the others are saying. Uh, okay. Okay, so even if you can't speak, it's, it's just better for you to just listen. And maybe, okay. maybe you can contribute by just writing in, in the chat box. Okay, so if you can't speak, Mittal, write your ideas in the chat box. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm going to put you into rooms again now, everyone. So Wen Yan, can you join the room, please?
Okay, so welcome back. All right, so let's take a look at these questions. Give me two seconds. Let me just share my screen again. Here we are. Okay, so um, two seconds. Let me just highlight the questions. Okay, so Laji Chi, whereabouts do you live? I live in Penang, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. How long have you lived there? Um, I live there about 13 years. Okay, so I have lived there for 13 years. Um, I have lived there for 13 years. Okay, good. Um, what are the amenities like? The, the amenities is, uh, the, are... Very good. are prosperous and they are uh, sold in good quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are the shops and the sports facilities and the libraries like? Are they good? Are they bad? Yes, they are all good. Okay, very good. Um, is everything within easy walking distance? Mm, yes, to me, because um, my school is... I'm um, just nearby from my house mm -hmm. and and I can also walk um about 10 minutes and I can reach to a supermarket. I yeah. can I can get to a supermarket. Uh, I can get to a supermarket. And the school is near my house or it is close to my house. Um Okay. All right. So you don't say the school is nearby my house. The school is near my house or it is close to my house. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, what are the good points about living there? Mm, I think the good points is... Um, the the good points are... are the, the good, good points, points are... are uh, the people uh, are kind and friendly, mm -hmm. and and it is peaceful in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Um. And what changes have there been in your local area in recent years? I think no. No. Yeah. There have been no changes. Um, no many uh, I think no such big changes. Okay, so there haven't been big changes. Yeah, there ha there haven't been big changes. Okay, all right. Um, and have there been any changes? Um. Yes, I think it's better because um, some electrical items is, um, are upgrade or renew. upgraded. Mm -hmm. Upgraded or renewed. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, um, and Wan Yan, whereabouts do you live? I live in Penang, Malaysia. It is okay. a small city. Very good, excellent. And how long have you lived there? I have lived there for 12 years since I was born. Okay, very good. What are the amenities like? The amenities are good. Mm -hmm. For example? Maybe the shops, there are many fancy uh, fashion clothes. Uh, and fashion the clothes shops. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the cinemas is big, some, I think. Okay, so the cinemas are? The cinemas are big. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Okay. Um, is everything within easy walking distance? In my opinion, I think it depends because mm -hmm. I don't usually walk to schools or walk to my school or the shops. I usually sit, I usually take public transport or car. Mm -hmm. And I, yes, that's it. Okay, very good. Um, is there anything you don't like about it? Sometimes I think the weather is hot because there aren't many trees around here. There, there are top aren't. buildings. Okay, all right, very good. Um, and what changes have there been in your local area in recent years? It become more prosperity. It, it has become more prosperous. It, it has, has become... become more prosperous. Mm -hmm. And uh, our Penang is starting uh, something like planting activities nowadays mm -hmm. to reduce global warming. Okay, very good. And have there been changes for the better or for the worse? What do you think? I think the changes is going better. Okay, so the changes are? The changes are going better. Are getting better, okay. Are getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. As, mm -hmm. as, mm, that's it. Okay, why, why are the changes getting better? Because nowadays, uh, rather than the, rather than doing some activities to reduce the global warming, uh, mm -hmm. the education was, uh, we have been educated to learn to plant more trees and mm -hmm. maybe do some recycle. So do some recycling. Do some recycling. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, so everyone, you must stop making this mistake. Okay, so when the, the noun is singular. Okay, so this is a singular noun. There's no S on the end of that noun. Okay, so then the verb to be is is. Okay. But here you can see this noun changes, there is an S, which means it's plural. So then if the noun is plural, you must use the verb are, okay? Stop making that mistake because that is a really, really big mistake that you're all making. Okay, so remember when the noun is singular, the verb to be is is. But when the noun is plural, meaning there are more, there's more than one, you must use the verb are. Do not use the verb is because that is incorrect. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So we're going to stop now and have a little break. Give you a chance to go to the toilet if you need to go to the toilet or, or get a drink. So if you can come back, please, within 10 to 15 minutes, okay? All right, see you soon. All right, so very good. Mittal, are you okay? Um, I noticed that you left. Yeah, my internet completely blacked out. Okay, all right. All right, never mind. Okay, so um, let's continue with today's class. So there are some more things I'd like you to do now. Um, okay, so next thing I'd like you to do is to talk about some photographs. Um, and in the last class, I gave you some uh, sentences I don't think Wan Yan, you were here. Let me just get that ready for you so you can have a look at it. Let me find it, it's on my computer. Just give me two seconds.
Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to share this with you. Because in the, um, the first certificate speaking exam, you have to talk about photographs in part two. Okay. So here are some expressions which are very useful to use. So for example, when you're talking about um, what you can see, comparing and contrasting, let me just make this a bit bigger. Here we are, okay. So um, in the first photo, I can see, uh, whereas while in the second photo, I can see on the one hand or on the other hand, okay. And then when you talk about position, uh, at the top of the photo, I can see um, at the or at the bottom of the photo, I can see at the front of the photo, I can see or at the back of the photo, I can see in the foreground. In the foreground or on, the, on in the background of the photo, I can see on the right hand side or on the left hand side of the photo I can see. And also when you're talk talking about photographs, you're also using the present continuous. So use the structure, the verb to be plus the verb in the ing form. So for example, in the first photo, I can see a woman who's wearing casual clothes. Whereas in the second photo, I can see a man who's wearing a suit. So there is an example of the present continuous. Okay, there's the verb to be, and there is the verb in the ing form. Also, you're speculating. So you're speculating about what the people are doing in the photo. So for example, the man could be his father, or the man might be his father, or the man may be his father. Also using verbs such as look, seem, and appear. Okay, so for example, I haven't talked to him very much, but he seems very intelligent. You still look tired, even if you've slept all night. And then we also use these, um, these patterns. So for example, the verbs look, seem, and appear plus adjective. So she looks very old. He seems very hungry. She appears tired. Okay. So I'm just going to make this smaller for you so you can take a screenshot because it's very useful to have these expressions. So just give me a second. All right. So Wan Yan and La Ji, Chi and Mittal, uh, can you take a screenshot of this if you haven't done already? Okay, excellent. Thank you. All right. So thank you, Laji Chi and Wan Yan. Okay. All right. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to talk about some photographs and I'd like you to use that vocabulary, which I've just asked you to take a screenshot of. Um, and let me just make these smaller for you. Okay. So, sorry for a second. Okay, so, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to talk about these photographs. I'm just try and make, is that too small for you? Let me just share the photos first. Okay, so um, I'd like you to compare uh, the photographs and say what you think it would be like to live in places uh, like these. Okay. So student A, so Wen Yan, if you can be student A first, and if you can compare the photographs and say what you think it would be like to live in those places. And then La Ji Chi afterwards, I'd like you to answer um, which of these two places you think would be safer. Okay. Does everybody understand the questions? Yes. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to try and make this smaller for you so you can take a screenshot in one go. 
Okay, so there are the, the photos. Um, there we are. Okay, so if you'd like to take a screenshot and let me know in the chat box once you've taken that screenshot. Excellent, very good. All right, so does everyone understand the question? Yeah. So I'd like you to use the vocabulary that um, I just showed you to talk about these pictures. Also, you can um, talk about these things. So talk about contact with other people, comfort, noise, space, surroundings, leisure time, convenience and expense. Okay. Does everybody understand? Yes. All right, fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms again. Uh, Mittel, I need to add you to my... For some reason you're not here. One second, everyone. Okay. Hmm. Metal, I can't add you for some reason. You're not here. Oh, there you are. Okay, fantastic. All right. So there we are.
Okay, welcome back. Good to see you back here. All right, so um, let's take a look at this these photos and I'd like you to tell me what were you saying about them. So let me just share this with you now. Okay, so um, Laji Chi, were you student A or student B? Student B. Okay. All right. So what did you say? Which of these two places would you think is safer? In my opinion, I, I think the, um, the first photograph would be safer and because um, it has um, a stable door so that the rubber can get in easily and you can get a comfort sleep Comfortable sleep. Comfortable, comfortable sleep. Comfortable, sleep. comfortable. Comfortable sleep. Good. Uh, moreover, you can um, do a lot of activities as you have um, many space. You have a lot of space. A lot of space. Um, whereas um, this second photograph, um, you can get uh, a good sleep um, because the sometimes the waves will toss the boat. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, very good. What is the name of the person who breaks into a house and steals things from a house? It's not a robber. Can you remember we looked at this vocabulary two weeks ago? Can anyone remember? So a robber breaks into a bank. What's the name of the person who breaks into a house? Robbery. No, the name of the person. Laji Chi, can you remember? We looked at it two weeks ago. Is it pickpocket? No, it's a burglar. Can you remember this word? Yes. Yes, so a burglar breaks into a house. A robber breaks into a bank, okay? What does a pickpocket do? Steal the things. Like, from, um, from where? From, this, from the people like, walking on the streets. Yeah, very good. Yeah, from people's pockets. Okay, very good. Um, okay, and Wen Yan, um, what did you answer for uh, student A? So, um, which of the, what would it be like to live in these places? What do you think? So, remember, you're speculating. So, use the verbs may, could, or might. So, for the first photograph. I think the people in there might contact with each other, sharing mm -hmm. their daily life or daily lives. Daily lives of some story, just chat. This can can maybe build their relationships. Mm -hmm. And for the second photograph, I think the people who live in there could not be much comfortable as the first photograph. Okay. So as it's, there are boats in there. Mm -hmm, it's not as comfortable as the first photograph. Can you say this word for me, please, Wen Yan? Comfortable. Comfortable. It has comfortable. three. Comfortable. Yeah. Very good. Again? Comfortable. Very good. Okay, so the people who live in the second photograph is not as fo uh, comfortable as the first photograph. Okay, anything else? Because there are boats in there and it might be noisy. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
And about the surroundings area, I think the first photograph is more is more spacious. Very good. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think about I and I think the second photograph there might be pollutants in there. Okay. In in the water. Yes, water pollution. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. All right, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Mittal, can you say anything? Yeah, my internet is a little bit better now, but not that. But next week, I, uh, next week I'll have good internet. I'll fix it yeah. next week. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's continue then. So what I'd like you to do now is we are going to do something else. Yeah, here we are. All right. So let me just share my page with you. Okay, so we're going to look at some more vocabulary. This time we're going to look at vocabulary related to, oops, what's going on? Sorry, I don't want that to happen. I don't understand what's happened. Sorry about this. Why has that just gone all blue? Is it blue? Can you see blue? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why it's just done that. That's really annoying. Let me try and sort this out. Why has this happened? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to try and find it from the beginning of the book again. Let me look for it. Give me two seconds. We're going to look at some vocabulary, but uh, I need to find it first. It's in the book and I've lost the page. So just give me a couple of seconds, please. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we're going to look at some vocabulary related to travel. So let me share my page with you and hopefully it won't go blue. All right, there we are. Okay, so. Okay, so here in the box, you can see some nouns. So the words are journey, travel, flight, voyage, cruise, and trip, okay? And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to complete these gaps um, using the correct, ver uh, correct word from the box. So for example, number one, our something was delayed because of bad weather, so we had to spend the night at the airport. What do you think the correct answer is, Wanyan? Our flight was delayed because of bad weather, so we had to spend the night at the airport. Excellent, very good. So the answer is flight. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to complete the rest of the sentences using the correct verb in the box, or oh, the correct word from the box. And let me know in the chat box once you have finished, okay? All right, does everyone understand? Okay, okay fantastic.
Okay, so well done. Let's take a look at your answers and see how you have done. So what did you get for number two, please, La Ji Chi? Can you read out the whole sentence, please? The journey from London to Brighton takes under an hour by train. Very good, excellent, very, very good. And number three, please, uh, Wan Yan. I am afraid Miss Curtis is away on a business trip. She'll, she'll be back on Tuesday. Excellent, very good. Number four, please, La Ji Chi. My interests include music, travel, and good food. Excellent, very good. Number five, please, Wan Yan. About 1,500 people died when the Titanic sent on its first voyage in one. In 1912. 1912. Okay, very good. Can you say this number again for me, please, Wan Yan? 1,500. Okay, so you don't need to say the and, so you could just say 1,500. 1,500. Very good. And can you say this year for me? 1912. Okay. Can you say this year for me? 2021. Very good. And this year? 1987. Good. Okay, um, and uh, La Ji Chi, number six, please. I wouldn't recommend going on a Caribbean cruise. You are on the ship for most of the holiday, so you don't see much of the different islands. Excellent. Very good. So Caribbean cruise. Good. Okay, does anyone have any questions? No. No? Nope. Okay. So what I'd like you to do now is the last thing I'd like you to do today is um, ask each other these questions here. Okay. These three questions. So if you go sightseeing in a city, what types of places do you visit? Where would you go to get the best view of your town or city? And which are the most popular tourist resorts in your country? Okay. Do you understand the questions? Yes. Yeah, Laji Chi, do you? Yes. Yeah, all right. So if you can take a screenshot of these uh, questions and let me know once you've taken the screenshot. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you, Wan Yan. Thank you, La Ji Chi. Um, and hopefully, Mittal, you can take a screenshot as well. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms again. Uh, so I'd like you to ask each other these questions. If you go sightseeing, let me just turn on my camera. Uh, if you go sightseeing in a city, what types of places do you visit? Where would you go to get the best view of your town or city? And which are the most popular tourist resorts in your country? All right. Okay.
Okay, so welcome back. Good to see you back here. All right, so let's take a look at these questions and you can tell me what did you talk about. So let me share my screen with you now. Here we are. Okay, so Laji Chi. If you go sightseeing in a city, what types of places do you visit? Um, if I go sightseeing in the city, um, the places I visit is um, Beijing, China, um, because uh, I'd like to go to um, um, to climb the Great Wall. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, but when you usually go to a, um, a city, do you visit museums? Do you visit uh, um, statues? What What do you visit when you go um, on a sightseeing tour in a city? Mm, like some um, historical buildings or mm -hmm. places. Very yeah. good. Excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, um, and Wan Yan, where would you, if, sorry, if you go uh, sightseeing in a city, what types of places do you visit? If I go to, if I go sightseeing in a city, I would like to visit a place where full of interesting and beautiful murals, such as the in the one of the place in Georgetown Pinnack. Mm -hmm. okay. I can capture some photos. You can take some photos. Okay. All right. And Laji Chi, where would you go to get the best view of your town or city? I would go to a temple named Kiklok Sea um, mm -hmm. because it is um, built on a mountain um, mm -hmm. so you can look down um, and see the nice scenery. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, thank you. And Wan Yan, which are the most popular tourist resorts in your country? Actually, I'm not very sure about this mm -hmm. questions. Okay. All right. Laji Chi, what which are the most popular tourist resorts in your country? I think the most popular tourist resorts is um tourist resorts. Tourist what's the, resort. What's the verb that comes afterwards? Ah. Uh, Very good. Uh the um Gurney Resort hotel mm -hmm. um, because I think that uh, Gurney is a very popular supermarket also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. And where would, uh, sorry, and Wan Yan, where would you go to get the best view of your town and city? In my opinion, I think I would go to the Penang Hill Mm -hmm. which is located in Penang, Malaysia, to get mm -hmm. the best view of my own country. Okay. My city, I mean. All right. Okay, why? Because when I want to get up to the hill, mm -hmm. the top of the hill, I can choose to climb or use the cable car. Mm -hmm. And that time, I can also capture some i can take some photos photos okay yes all right very good excellent okay well done everyone thank you very much for all your hard work today thank you for attending the class um mittal it's a shame that we couldn't hear you today but hopefully next week um you will My sort out your internet audio was not working the entire time just now all right okay um, so hopefully next week you'll be able to sort out your camera and your audio. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Have a great week, everyone. And I will see you next week. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye.